Hi, I'm Dr. Rod Shaw at Math Plus Academy, and this math treat is diagonals on a grid. What we're going to do is start with some graph paper, a square grid, and on that graph paper, draw a rectangle. In this case, I just happen to have chosen a rectangle that's three units tall and four units wide. And then we're going to draw a diagonal, as you might have guessed from the title of the math tree. So we'll start in the lower left and work our way all the way up to that top right corner. And I ideally would have a straight edge or a ruler, but I don't, so I'll, I'll freehand this the best that I can. Let's see, let's see, like that, there we go. Okay, not bad, a little bit off, but not bad. And now, you could do a lot of things with this. You might start counting things, just kind of look at it. What does it do? Obviously, it spits the, splits the rectangle in half. But in this case, we're going to focus on how many squares, how many of those little unit squares does this diagonal pass through? So it goes through this square right here, one. It actually just goes through this one a little bit. It goes through this one and this one and this one and that one. Okay, so what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six squares. Great. Now, the question that you could ask is, given any size rectangle that I choose, five by seven, three by five, 12 by 12, can you predict how many squares the diagonal will pass through? That's it. Draw a rectangle on a square grid. Draw on the diagonal. Count how many squares it goes through and see what kind of conclusions you can make about how many squares there are going to be. Can you make a formula where I just plug in the dimensions and it'll tell me how many squares the diagonal will pass through? Are there certain easy shapes to work with or easier sizes to work with and harder sizes to work with? Is, are there certain pairs of numbers where you get a lot of these diagonal squares that, are, that I've colored in red? Are there certain dimensions where you get very few of them? What's the least you can get? What's the most you can get? What is the, the most proportion you could get? Like in this one, I have six filled in and I have six that are empty. So kind of half of my boxes, the diagonal goes through them and the other half it doesn't. Are there rectangles where you get more of the red squares than the non-red squares? Are there some where you get very few? So many different questions that you can think about. I will include a link here to a Desmos graph where you can play around uh, with a little tool that'll help you do this, but all you really need is pencil paper, graph paper, and you are good to go. So as always, play around with this and just have fun playing with the math.